All right, Cassie, thank you. Joining us live on Heartland Afternoon, we have Sydney Waters with the Better Business Bureau. How are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. So what is today? Today is Giving Tuesday. So the first Tuesday after Thanksgiving is always Giving Tuesday. So what exactly is it? So Giving Tuesday is a big charity push, and it's kind of designed to counterbalance all of that purchasing from Cyber Monday and Black Friday and really give back to people and communities who need our help. And while it's such a, a great thing to be able to help so many people, there's also some, would you say, like scary sides of this? Absolutely. So anytime you have a big emotional push, push and then, you know, moves for funds, you're going to get people behind you, um, you know, scammers, they're gonna jump on that right away. So really, what we're seeing with Giving Tuesday is as emotional as you are to help, the scammers are just as emotional to scam you. So you really have to watch and make sure you're giving to a charitable organization that's accredited or at least very trustworthy. How common is it to be scammed on Giving Tuesday? Well, since December of 2022, we've seen 177 scams from charities, and we're looking at about a $75 median loss from those scams. So it's a lot more common than you would expect. How easy is it? Is it simply like number spoofing or? So we're seeing a lot of impersonation scams. So little things like, you know, you may have a charity that you love and you go and you look up that charity and you click it and you put your information in to donate and there's one little thing off in the URL. So you've actually disclosed your financial or personal information to a spoof company that's not real at all. So it really takes a little research in advance to make sure that's an established charity. Um, they have access to where you're trying to get right away and they have means to take your donations as well. And what are some ways that people can give uh, that's not necessarily monetarily? Absolutely. So if funds are tight, there's lots of ways you can give back. So many organizations are doing pushes for coats right now, um, food drives, toys, and even your time. So if you think about local animal shelters, there's a huge push for donating time in that area as well. And that's a huge part of Giving Tuesday as well. What's the biggest thing that you're seeing right now when it comes to Giving Tuesday on the Better Business Bureau side of it? Um, really, I think that it's just little things that you catch red flags before you put your personal information out there to um, a company that you can't trust. So look for things like 100% claims. So if they say 100% of your donation is going to charity, ask them how that's possible because there's things like administrative and fundraising fees that you'll always have to pay. And then little things like graphic design, grammatical errors on websites, and then just really those high pressure tactics because a lot of these um, organizations, they have long-term goals. So donating now or donating in a month, they'll still be very happy to have your donation. Thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us today. Thank you. It was a pleasure. We'll see you back after the break.